with how Kirsten and I were having lunch with a friend in North Carolina, and the friend, I think she made BLT sandwiches or something, and, and we sat down to have lunch, and I mean, milk and iced tea and BLT sandwiches, and I've been with Kirsten several times when she's just gone into these absolute, full-blown, mystical experiences. And in this case, she had taken her, her helpless hands, her hand down to pick up, it was like sliced in half, to pick up a little diagonal sliced uh, BLT sandwich. And just when she started to lift it up, barely off the plate, she went into just an absolute, full-blown, light episode mystical experience. And I could see the, the, the bread just slowed down and just froze. And then her eyes were just, it was an open-eyed, kind of like a Zen open-eyed meditation. But then it, it was, she was into a full-blown mystical experience in her mind. And her eyes just got real big. And I watched her for like 10 minutes just looking at this uh, BLT sandwich, like she'd never, ever, ever seen a BLT sandwich before. Like it was totally brand new. And it, like it was so brand new that she, she didn't know what to do with it. She, she didn't have any memory of like lifting that sandwich up and <laughs> taking a bite out of it. That was all <coughs> gone from her mind. She just was like, and so for, for about 10 minutes, she just, with her eyes wide open, we just watched her. She just was like looking at the sandwich, looking at the sandwich, just looking at it, looking at it for 10 minutes. And then finally after 10 minutes, she just slowly, like slowly put it back down. Like she still didn't have a memory of, of what it would be like, a past association with eating a sandwich. It was just one of those kind of mystical things. And I, I had one of those too when we were in a coffee park down in, in Colombia where she just she had it. We were just starting to go. It was like a coffee amusement park. Juan Valdez's picture all over, and it was all kinds of little cafes where you could drink coffee and beautiful gardens, and not like a typical amusement park with rides and everything, but just the kind of gardens and everything. And well, she went into one of those mystical experiences early on in the morning, so I just kind of had to hold her hand the whole day because she really had difficulty walking. She would kind of, if I didn't hold her hand, she would just kind of wander off like a, like an elf that had, had been wound up and didn't have a direction. So I had to hold her hand all day long, everywhere we went, just like a little girl. But she was just, and she couldn't read. She'd go into the cafe and she'd just stare and look at the menu, but she couldn't read the menu. It's a little scary to the ego because it, it's like those kind of things are, are associated with dysfunction. Like this functionality, like, oh no, please, I don't wanna, let me please just be able to operate and live a normal life. And, and I've had people that have, friends of mine that have been so concerned that they'll be like driving down the highway like at 65 or 70 degree, 70 miles per hour, and they'll be so concerned that they're gonna have like a full-blown mystical experience while they're on the highway you know, and they're playing a song. Uh, you know, Carrie might remember years ago when we were in Kentucky and we were coming up north on I-75, and Carrie was in the back seat and and Jeffrey was in the front seat. And we started playing this song, "State of Grace," which I can play some music from. It's very ethereal, and and it was very ethereal. And Carrie was like in the back seat, kind of in the middle, and she could look right in the rearview mirror because the rearview mirror was you know, from the driver's side straight back, and she was watching Jeffrey's eyes. And it looked like one of these movies where his eyes started to just zone out like something in the twilight zone, just zone, zone, and she was, and we were going like 65, 70 miles an hour, and, and the state of grace was going, and his eyes started going like that, and he was the driver of the car. And then I, I just was sitting, I was the passenger, so I was just watching the whole thing, and I heard from the back seat, Jeffrey! <laughs> like not now <laughs> not now <laughs> not a good time <laughs> on the highway but then I have a friend in um, in Colorado uh, Lynn Corona and she was coming up I think it's I-15 that comes up from from New Mexico up through uh, Colorado and and uh, 
one of those, and it comes up and and goes through like uh, Garden of the Gods, right near Garden of the Gods. Right, she was somewhere near Garden of the Gods, and she went into one of these. She was driving on the highway, the interstate highway, and she went into one of these full-blown mystical experiences where she completely lost awareness of everything in this world. And I said, well, how did that go? And she said, she came back into her awareness of the world about 20 miles to the north and she was heading for Denver. And the car was perfectly driven and she didn't crash. And she just completely lost awareness of absolutely everything. But, but it was a great kind of symbol that all was completely taken care of, that there was no accident, no destruction, no weaving off the road or something, which of course the ego plays it out like the mystical experience is the big unknown and it's very afraid of those light episodes and mystical experiences. It can come up with some all kinds of ideas, but, but yeah, in my experience, every time I've had mystical experiences and deep light episodes and the great rays, it's been really beautiful. Everything has been perfectly taken care of. It was just more of a sense of being lifted up in awareness and just soaring into this glorious experience. Just such like a taste, a glimmer of, of what reality is like, you know, of the love and light that we truly are. And uh, so I, I enjoy hearing people's experiences, but I, I think the best thing, reminder in your mind is, is just this sense of safety and security and allowance and letting go. Just letting yourself have an experience and not being held back by this egoic thought or belief that somehow it could be damaging or destructive. You know, it's not, not that way at all. It's just easily giving yourself permission to just open up into those mystical experiences and they're they're just beautiful.